On the 9th of Av, we fast to commemorate and mourn over the events of tragedy that have happened to the Jewish people throughout our history. When the spies returned from touring Eretz Yisrael, the report caused the nation to cry in panic. The generation who had been taken out of Egypt would not live to be able to enter the land of Israel. al Ela Ani Bechia. In 587 BCE, on the 9th of Av, the first Beit HaMikdash built by King Shlomo was destroyed by Nebuchadnezzar, and the Jewish people were exiled from the land of Israel to Babylonia. al Ela Ani Bechia. In 70 CE, the second Beit HaMikdash, built by Ezra and Nehemiah, was destroyed and began an exile which scattered the Jews across the world. al Ela Ani Bechia. In 135 CE, Bar Kokhba's revolt was defeated, destroying the city of Bitar, plowing the site of the temple, and killing over 500,000 Jewish civilians. In 1096, the Crusades began in France and destroyed communities. In 1290, we were expelled from England. In 1306, we were expelled from France. And in 1492, we were expelled from Spain. In 1941, the Holocaust began, where we lost 6 million Jewish souls. On Tisha B'Av, on the 9th of Av, we remember our tragedies that have befallen us throughout history. Although we have come a long way, we have returned to the land of Israel and we have built a thriving country. We have Jewish communities, schools, shuls, and camps all around the world. But this year especially, we are reminded we have not reached the final Geula. We are still living in a fractured state. This year, the doors to our shul are not fully open. We are not able to gather and camp, and the ease of visiting Israel is no longer a given. This Tisha B'Av, we remember, we have what to work towards in so that we can end the Galu and be back together in Jerusalem. Next year, may we be back in our communities at full capacity. L'Shana Haba, may we be back in camp, but most of all, L'Shana Haba, may we be reunited together in Jerusalem in the third Beit HaMikdash.